Hey Run Junkies, several weeks ago I told you I was upping my strength and resistance game. I needed a quick and portable strength training routine because I was just getting burned out and bored with the same old weight training exercises. Traditional strength training routines were just not doing it for me anymore, so my coach Christine encouraged me to try the TRX suspension trainer. And let me tell you what I think about it. Developed 20 years ago by a Navy SEAL, because apparently their training isn't enough and he needed more of a challenge. This is a set of nylon straps that can be hooked up to a door or any other fixed point. And it uses your body weight as strength and resistance to develop stability very quickly and efficiently. I bought my trainer during one of their sales on their website, and there are quite a few things that you get when you purchase a TRX suspension trainer. First, you have access to the online workouts and training plan Plans through their website and you also have a one-year free membership to the TRX app. On the website you have an area called My Locker which holds a library of video workouts and PDFs to add variety to your strength training routine. This is where I found the eight-week training plan that I've been using during my dopey training. The app has a searchable feature so you can filter out your workouts by duration, difficulty, muscle groups, and the coach leading the workout. I don't use the app very often, but it's definitely a plus to have that kind of portability. If you are thinking about getting the TRX trainer for yourself or for someone else, here are a few things you're going to need. First, an anchor point with about eight feet of distance from that anchor point, and then at least an, your arm's width across that whole distance. A closed door usually does the trick. Other anchor points could include a solid railing or a beam, or even an outdoor point like a tree, a pole, or even your car's roof rack. That's it, that's as easy as it gets. Using the TRX, be prepared for a humbling experience, but an effective workout. It's benign, and unassuming at first, but add the TRX into your training mix and you will see strength gains very quickly. So this eight week training plan that I've been using basically incorporates a variety of 15 minute workouts that focus on one muscle group. The instructor for some of the videos says that nothing is isolated, everything is integrated. So you might be working on your core, but in order to stay stable, you might notice that you're working your shoulders, your arms, and your legs as well. There are six different workouts, a chest and back workout, an arms and shoulders workout, legs and hips, core, a 30 minute total body workout, and even a 15 minute stretch workout. I do one or two of these workouts several days a week and I have definitely noticed a shift in my strength. Daily tasks seem easier and I've definitely developed a lot of strength and stability, which makes a huge difference on my runs. I am not going to lie. This is probably the hardest single workout series I have ever done. And I've tried several different methods of strength training over many years. Those 15 minute workouts feel long and challenging. And there have been times when I've had to take a few days or even up to a week off if I'm preparing for a race, then I won't do any strength training, TRX training at all, or if I've been ill and it's just been too much for my body to handle. But when I come back to it, I can tell that I've taken some time off. Coming back to the TRX after a brief hiatus hurts a lot. So there is incentive to stay consistent. I have also noticed that I have been doing the same routines for several weeks and they don't really feel like they get easier. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Maybe it's the body weight exercises or what, but these exercises don't get any easier with more experience. They're just as challenging as day one. It's not like traditional strength training when you're lifting weights and in order to get a better workout, you have to increase your weight or your reps or your sets. You don't have to do that with the TRX. It's always a challenge. So the bottom line is this, if you are looking for a portable, easy to set up and challenging training regimen, definitely try the TRX suspension trainer. I'm not an affiliate. I'm not getting a kickback for talking about this today. So please check out the link to their website in the description below. The TRX suspension trainer does retail for about $200, but they are always running deals on their website. So check back. The question remains, do I love the TRX suspension trainer? I don't love doing the workouts. I don't love it. 
but I do love the results. I have definitely noticed a difference and it's worth it. I love that I can get a solid workout when I'm crunched for time. I love that I'm seeing results. And when I'm consistent, I see rapid improvement and strength gains. If you wanna see more information about my experience with the TRX Suspension Trainer, please head over to gofindyourawesome.com where I give you a lot more details about how I use this guy. Please subscribe for more product reviews and a lot more coming this month from Running With Grace. And as always, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. My question for you today is this, have you ever tried the TRX Suspension Trainer? And if so, what do you think about it? Or do you have any further questions or comments regarding this piece of equipment? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for me today. Get out there, go find your awesome. Until next time, happy running.